Welcome to Tony Burns View with news you can use. Tony has over 32 years of experience as a chartered financial planner and wealth manager. Tony's passion is to help you retire early and live the life of your dreams with no financial worries. Now to today's episode. You get what you pay for. United Income carried out extensive research on the efficiency of retirement portfolios, which culminated in a white paper, which was made publicly available in January 2018. Its results were very surprising to investors, but totally unsurprising to, to financial planners. Let me explain why. Retail investment management fees have fallen by more than 50% in the past 35 years, which has been led by the trend to investing in low-cost passive or index tracker funds. However, the benefits of lower prices may be undermined by other non-fee costs created from features that are oversimplified or imprecise in investment products and wealth management services. To assess this potential, United Income analyzed 62 different retirement solutions in the market and over 26,000 potential combinations of future market returns from highly bearish to bullish. These were their findings. Non-fee costs incurred by investors from their investment products and wealth management services can include higher taxes, stunted investment returns, and reduced money from public benefits. These largely hidden non-fee expenses arise from oversimplified or imprecise approaches that suboptimally invest and disperse money for individuals, particularly in retirement. More than 75% of the retirement solutions we analysed have low prices, but also include potentially high non-fee costs created by oversimplifications or imprecisions. About 96% of the 62 solutions we analysed do not strive to minimise some or all non-fee costs generated by their approaches, including costs created from inflated tax bills and deflated investment returns and public benefits. Reduced non-fee costs generated seven times more wealth in retirement for a typical retiree compared to the effects of reducing investment management fees by 100 basis points. That's 1%, by the way. Larger wealth gains for retirees are the result of greater tax savings from increased use of the tax code, a high equity premium from more accurate management of an investor's risk preferences, and the greater relative ability of these approaches to anticipate and plan for more, di more diverse future outcomes, including health spending shocks that increase in likelihood during retirement. On average, retirement solutions with lower non-fee costs have a 42% better chance of generating enough money for typical retirees compared to products that just have a low relative price. Increases in wealth are the result of greater use of public policies to increase retirement income, for example, higher social security benefits, lower tax bills, higher investment returns for more accurate management of investors' risk preferences in retirement, and other factors that reduce costly inaccuracies. The typical retiree accumulated an average of 124% more wealth during retirement when using a solution with lower non-fee costs compared to solutions that just have a low relative price. Improved financial outcomes were due to the greater relative use of public policies that can increase or protect income in retirement, as well as the use of more information to diversify retirees' finances to survive in a, in a higher number of potential future market outcomes. Interestingly, the financial media and regulators of the Financial Conduct Authority, most investors and many financial advisors believe that low-cost passive in other words, index tracker funds, are the best solution for investors. I disagree. The results of United Income's large research study back my opinion. My recent blog, Is There a Bubble in Passive Funds, further expound, expounds my theory. Whilst it is true that passive funds tend to outperform active funds on average according to a number of surveys over the years, the source of which is Smarter Investing by Tim Hale, there's little doubt that the best actively managed funds outperform passive funds. For example, hedge funds, which have the highest fees, consistently outperform lower charging retail funds. Source, More Money Than God by Sebastian Malaby. 
Our own sister company, Minerva Money Management's CCM Intelligent Wealth Fund, is up 64.9% over the last 12 months at the time of writing. It's an actively managed global thematic equities fund which has significantly outperformed its benchmark, the IA global sector, over the last 12 months and has left major stock market passive funds in the shade. Proof positive that the very best active funds outperform passive funds. What's more, once you take into account fees, no matter how low they are, a passive fund is guaranteed to always underperform its index. And I do not consider even matching a stock market index to be particularly impressive anyway. What passive funds have proven over the years is not that they have performed well, but that the majority of active funds have been poorly managed. The FCA's damning reviews of the fund management industry just a few short years ago is testament to that view. I've always considered that a good financial planner adds huge value to clients. Not only the United Income White Paper supports this view, but also Vanguard's own white paper on Advisor Alpha. This comment from United Income's white paper I found particularly telling. Reducing non-fee costs generated seven times more wealth in retirement for a typical retiree compared to the effect of reducing investment management fees by 100 basis points. In other words, the amount of extra wealth created by reducing non-fee costs was found to be worth seven times compared to the reduction of 1% per annum in management fees. That says it all and puts to rest the flawed theory that saving costs produces greater returns. The fact is that paying higher fees means that you can hire the world's best fund managers to get better investment returns for you. It's exactly the same as in all walks of life. You get what you pay for. So don't be fooled by the flawed logic of passive funds enthusiasts. Instead, invest in the very best active funds like the CCM Intelligent Wealth Fund. You know it makes sense. Thank you for listening to today's episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to share it with your friends and family. For more information, head to www.wealthandtax.co.uk.